Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tim, aka SS Direwolf ENL, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to know when we post another video. Today, we're going to try and teach you 3D Transform, and we're going to do it with chat. And I said try, we're not going to try, we are going to do it. But let me correct myself, we're going to do it. We are going to teach you how to get 3D chat in your overlay. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the other display. So here, you, I will have this link right here in the description below. You guys can click on that. It'll send you to this website, uh, github.com. You're going to click this zip file right here. And then once it pulls up, it's going to have the plugins. Uh, and then what you're going to do is on your little search tab, if you obviously, if you already have OBS installed, just type in OBS. Right click OBS, open file location, then you're going to right click that OBS and then open file location. For whatever reason, it doesn't open the actual location the first time. You're going to double click data, double click the OBS plugins, and then you'll see this will actually be empty for you if you don't have this on there already. Um, let me minimize, get that out of the way. And then what you're going to do is double click plugins on the file that you downloaded, and then you're going to take this and drag it in. I'm not going to do that. I already have a copy there, so I don't need to. We're going to go ahead and exit those windows, and then we're going to move over to OBS. And this is where you're going to do all the magical stuff. So if you actually see this display capture, we can right-click, filter. I already have a blur filter up here, but if we go to 3D Transform, click OK, Perspective, we can start moving and doing whatever we want with that. So we're going to go ahead and cancel that and move back to our browser. I get my chat from Pixel Chat. You guys can get yours from Stream Elements or Stream Labs, wherever you'd like to get it. Uh, but mine, I get here specifically at Pixel Chat. I pay a little bit of subscription and I get a little extra stuff. So like Pixel Emote Overlay. So if somebody spams emotes in my channel, they float all over the place. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Pixel Chat Overlay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit edit on this. I needed it to pick up Okay, there we go. And then it's got the box. Okay, now I can pull up my URL. Copy. Usually it's not active, so I can just pull the URL. And you'll see this is kind of what it looks like when the pixel chat is running. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back up OBS. We're going to hit the plus button here. We're going to click browser source. There it is. And we're going to put in 3D chat version 2 because I already have a 3D chat uh, in the system. We're going to do 3D chat version 2, click OK. We're going to slap that URL and get that out of there. I accidentally hit a key. That, click OK. There we go. So there's our box. And then if we type in hello, you may see some bots chat in here as well. Uh, the way that I set these up, there are different ways. You can right click in the thing or right click right here, click filters, and then add effects. And then 3D transform. I just leave it that way. So I do perspective and then position. I don't really worry about that. Uh, if you want to, you can play around with that. That'll kind of change like where the box is set. So like if we put in, uh, let's say minus 10, it moves, it shifts it around. So you don't have to actually minimize it, make it smaller or do anything like that. So we're just going to type zero for that and leave it there. What I do is I actually just change the field of view to make the text smaller. But my box, this red box is your out of bounds line. So basically, after I've changed the perspective, I can yaw this in any direction I want and then run it right up to the edge of that box. And if I need more room, then I can just feel the view it and just position it that way if I want to. And then there you go. There's your 3D transformed overlay for chat. And there's Nightbot popping in saying, love what you see. Be sure to follow the channel and click the bell to know when we go live. That's my bot for Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me over there on twitch.tv forward slash SS Direwolf ENL, feel free to do so. So we are live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And everything you've seen here today was filmed inside of OBS. We have used no other sources. Our transitions are inside of OBS as well. And we'll show you guys how to get some free stuff for your stream overlay, including this animated frame that I have and some other stuff. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. 
And if you want to catch me live on Twitch, you guys could do so there as well and ask me questions and I will answer them. I want to help everyone improve their stream and everyone have a great time. And I have more fun actually teaching than I do actually streaming. So, yay me. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm off of here. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later.